This is a joint giveaway, not a smoke-in. If you must smoke, we have a safe house very nearby that you can go to. Okay, we'll go like up to the street. So turn the speaker towards, it, towards me. Okay, volunteers, we have banners that we'd like to have facing the street. Can you open them, please? Uh, we are... Let's get these banners open. Uh, media, we cannot have you block the sidewalk. What I'd like you to do is make an L. So line up in more of a line along the side here and leave the sidewalk open along the side of the road. But don't block the sidewalk. 
cannot block the sidewalk. Where's the folding table? Yeah, there's a table that we brought. Sidewalk. And we're going to have to move you guys if you guys don't clear you on your own. Make a pack. We need the full table. Okay, so members of the media, we're preventing the event from happening. We're going to stop. We're going to stop at the interviews. We're going to dismiss with guys. Okay, so happy 440. My name is Adam Mining here. I'm the co-founder of PCMJ. Members of the media that are standing in front of this table, you're blocking the giveaway. We need you to make an open path in front of this table. If you are waiting in line, you must have a, a, some sort of hill ID and a driver's license for you. I see it. I see it. I'm, I'm not in this. So we have a legitimate here. <laughs> hey, come on, move it over. You're, you're not waiting in line. You have a whole ID, you wait for the line. Members of the media that are you can get in line. But don't block this way. So, this is uh, the beginning of the Congressional Joint Session. We're doing this because, as district residents, we have no vote in Congress, and we want the right to write our own laws in the District of Columbia when it comes to marijuana, and Congress is blocking us from writing our own laws, and we've lobbied for two years. There's nothing left to do except to start getting marijuana on Capitol Hill away to Capitol Hill uh, staffers. So, staffer number one, come on up. And we have people checking out these over there, Lisa. We're getting people in line, right? <laughs> oh, he's not doing it, buddy. He has a, is he over 21? No? No, he can't do it. Is he over 21? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Thanks for working for our country, everybody. Happy 420. Now, the Congress decided to stop the digital quota from being able to pass new laws. So for the last two years, we've only been able to grow and give cannabis here in the District of Columbia. However, there are hundreds, if not thousands of adults in the District of Columbia that would love to be able to go to a store and be able to buy it for themselves. Not everyone has a green thumb. But as long as Congress continues to pass a budget that contains a rider that prevents the District of Columbia from being able to pass laws, we are stuck on ice right now and all we can do is just grow and give. So we're here today to try to call attention to the fact that Congress needs to A, renew the Warbach Reform Amendment, which prevents the DEA from going after states that have legal cannabis laws, and B, for the budget to move to the appropriations to remove the budget rider for the District of Columbia. We're going to be here until 6.20 this evening, handing out three joints to whoever has a congressional ID and is 21 years of age or older. Thank you so much for being here.
Capital? Yeah. No, no, I don't be greedy. It's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess they're going to see 
Sorry, whether. Yeah, they're gonna probably make more arrests because we're giving away drugs again. Another, 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 and then they seize all the property, and they take the kids away and put them in foster care. It is like the most extreme thing you can do to an American citizen. And yet, it's being done all the time to marijuana users. We're tired of it. We're totally sick and tired of it. And we're not going to let these guys off the hook anymore. We're not going to just, you know, play nice. You know, and put on a suit and lobby and then walk out with the answer no. No, it's going to be yes from now on. What's the goal? What are you hoping to get out of this? I mean, the goal is to stir it up, get them talking, to psychologically affect the senators and congressmen and their, and, their, and their staff. So they realize that there's a lot of anger and there's pent up frustration and that we're not happy with the status quo. And they need to, you know, legalize at the federal level finally. That's what they're doing. Do you think that rather than... First and last thing. Adam, I... I did. I just want to make sure I'm not kidding. I got you. Do you think that rather than with these all-out raids, like what you're talking about, there's more of a possibility that this could be used as a political bargaining chip? I don't think it's a political bargaining chip because it didn't benefit the Democrats in the last election. The Democrats had such a weak position on legalization coming from the top, coming from Hillary Clinton, that there were plenty of states where marijuana passed and Hillary lost. So if it was going to bring out progressive voters and help the Democrats, or there was some sort of political trade, it doesn't exist. What we have now is all states, red and blue, support legalization. And medical is sky high support. It's in the 70s and 80s percentiles across the country. So why is nothing changing? And I think it's because of the pharmaceutical industry, the prison industrial complex, they are the ones lobbying against legalization. They're the ones who don't want home cultivation. They're the ones who don't want stores where people can go and safely buy marijuana. Because they are protecting their opioid drug profits. Because they're protecting, you know, this whole world of FDA approved psychotropic drugs that they got people hooked on with PTSD, you know, and we need to get people off those drugs as a natural herb that actually can help them. If it doesn't help them, okay, so be it, but people shouldn't be punished for trying. So far, just two people. They've been arrested, not just taken into custody. They were, they were arrested. They were put in handcuffs and they were under arrest. They asked, are they under arrest? They said, yes, you're under arrest. And they were giving away cannabis right there at that table, just like it's happening now. And it's lawful on this on this street corner, and I think they're doing a test case. The arrest wasn't for blocking the sidewalk? No, it was, I believe it was for distributing cannabis. No, they didn't say. But I told the officer, I put my hand on the back, it's like, this is not your property, you can't take this. And she said, this is uh, marijuana, we're taking it, and these two are, are, leaving, are, are being under arrest now. It was like, they didn't tell us why, but it looked like they were arresting him for distribution of cannabis. Yeah,